Welcome to Puff Daddy Reef and thanks for stopping by. I've had this tank set up for eight months but I never showed you guys my unboxing video. Well I found the old footage and I'm putting it up here so you can see what it's like in case you're thinking to buy this tank. You can see how it all comes. It comes packaged nicely and looks nice just like the tank. So let's begin. Here's the box that the aquarium came in. I already took it out of the box because it was kind of hard to get out, but you just cut a tab and pull it right out. I'll show you a quick clip of what it looks like on the inside of the box. There's just some foam tabs, uh, as you can see right here, that are on the corners of the aquarium. So here's the aquarium, and now I'm unboxing it, taking, taking down the plastic. Let's see. Oh, the pedestal is sitting on top. Looks very nice. Uh, it's acrylic. It has the connect or the paper kind of covering it to protect it. I'll set that to the side. And now here's the tank. So I like this tank a lot. The curved glass looks nice, even though the newer versions like the, the Fusion are moving away from that, the straight edges with black. Uh, I'm looking at the silicon here and it just looks really good. The outflow is right here and this has a little tiny flow pump down there so if you're keeping a softy tank it should be fine that's the flow deflector uh, looks like for the overflow that it has some small grates on one side that just pops the water into the back the, there's two baffles um, it doesn't look like there's too complex for um, bubble control it just looks like the water flows under the first baffle and over the second it'd be a place where you could put a heater to keep things warm and we know those fish like warm water. So here's the side of the tank and let's um, pop open this box and see what's inside. So let's get the plastic off this and I wanna get to this box, but first I'll open it up and see what other parts are in there. The tank is nice, very clean finish. Um, it's about as, I think, high polish you could do for a tank this size. Uh, the box is in here. I guess it has the light and some other components. I'll open that up in just a second to see what's inside. And the very bottom of the tank has this cardboard piece. Um, I'm not sure what it... Oh, and there's also the plastic thing there. That's the um, fan for the flow direction. You can also get like a spin stream or another sort of flow deflector to kind of randomize the flow, even though it does cut down the um, speed of your pump a lot. And this is the glass lid. That yeah, looks pretty good. It has a single hole drilled in the center. And I'm trying to set it down on the tank. Uh, I guess there needs to be some tabs or something. But the edges look smooth. Um, cut real nice to a nice polish on the edge. So looks beautiful. Unfortunately, that'll start to build up a lot of salt creep later on. Uh, as you can see in some of my videos. So I'm going to open up this box. And voila! Look what's inside. It appears to be the um, rest of the components, of course, but appears to be the light in there. Look at it. The skylight is unveiled. Unveiled? Yeah, I guess it's unveiled. And there are six lights in there. Two of them are mood lights. Four of them are white lights. There's a separate cord for each one, so if you're just using simple timers, you can have a timer when the blue turns on and off and a timer when the white turns on and off. Uh, it's very low profile and sits low to the tank. I like it a lot. Um, here is the media basket and this is something that a lot of people have complaints about. This media basket is much smaller than the first chamber of the little sump compartment and um, doesn't, I don't know, fits in there kind of loose so they they sell an upgrade to fix the problem with their own product. Uh, I think it's kind of goofy. They should just sell this with their product. So this is going to be my one big knock for it. It's got a little sliding door so you can change out your media. Honestly, in the eight months I've had this tank, I've never changed out the media because I just keep up with everything with consistent water changes. Um, I do have some rocks in there. Here are the transparent plastic tabs for the mirror, I mean for the glass top. And this is, uh, it's the mount for the light. Here we have one power supply and two power supplies. So one for the blue lights, one for the white lights. Standard documentation. Looks like documentation, some sort of like warranty card you can send in. And so we're going to look at the light. 
Um, looks pretty good. I like how the wire is nice and tucked under. It gives it a real clean look. The power supply is, one of them is quite large, one of them is smaller than the other. Um, not sure why that's the case. I guess one has powers twice as many lights, um, so perhaps that's the reason. And overall, just a really nice, good finish. So these are all the parts, and this is the unboxing. Well, thank you very much for watching again. So here is the tank, once again, an eight-month setup. The pulsing Zinnia is absolutely out of control. So if you are setting up this tank, leave the pulsing Zinnia at home, or maybe put in your refugium because it has consumed a lot of nutrients and kept this tank pretty stable. Well, thanks for watching Puff Daddy Reef. Please leave comments in the section below if you have any questions, and keep keeping those tanks beautiful. Have a great day.